Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Mitch Creations PH. My name is Mitch and in today's video, I will share with you on how I make an ice cream cone balloon without any stand. So if you are new here to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell button for you to be updated on my next video. So without further ado, let's get started. Now we will insulate the first layer for about 6 inches. So since we're not using stand for this particular project, I will use the foam board. I just uh, put two holes so it's easy for me to attach the 260 Q. So I will uh, tie now the 260 Q. And now we will attach our first layer. So we have now the first layer. A little bit bigger from the first layer. I suggest you guys, if you have uh, balloon sizer, use balloon sizer. We will attach now our second layer. Just Pull one nozzle from our first layer here and put the second layer and pull the nozzle, wrap it around to the first layer, back to the second layer, first layer, back and tie. We have now two layer, one, two. Now let's inflate our third layer. Uh, just make a little bit uh, bigger from the second layer. Now this is our fourth layer. Fifth layer. So we'll make now our sixth layer. Now we will insert our water weight from the first layer. So here is our cone. Now let's inflate our 18 inches balloon. But if you have 24 or 36 inches, it's better. Tie a knot from the nozzle. Now attach it to our cone balloon. Since I don't have the quick link balloon, so I will use the 5 8 balloon regular. I will just make a small resin from the uh, leftover 260. Just cut 
and we have now the small raisin this one and we will insert this on our 5 inch so grab it here so here's your raisin we will tie it with 260 I will cut the 260 because it's uh, quite big Now we have the half, so we'll tie this. Now let's inflate our quick link balloon that I made uh, earlier. This is DIY only, this is 5 inch balloon regular. It's all thin pieces. Now let's attach this to the neck of our cone. Now let's inflate a quad of 5 inches balloon. And attach it to the quick link balloon that we made earlier. And now we will make a sprinkle balloon. It's better if you have 160, so I don't have. Now I'm going to make the 260 cube. So these are the sprinkle balloon that I make. So we will attach this one to here from the pink, the big pink. Use double-sided tape to attach our sprinkle to our 18 inches balloon. Just take it there and that's it. To make our toppings, inflate uh, 11 ends white and release a bit of air. Tie a knot from the nozzle. Grab a 260 left over and then insert the nozzle to the other side and hold from the other side then twist. And we will tie with the 260 cube. For the cherry, inflate 5 inch red. Release a bit of air. And tie from the near of the mouth of our balloon so we can squeeze. Inflate a 160 cube. This is silver. Now we will connect our silver 160 to our 5 inch red. Just tie them using the both nozzle, nozzle from the 160 and the nozzle from the 5 inch red. Squeeze this and then we will insert the nozzle and then grab it from the other side. We will tie it with a lift over 260.
So here we go, we have now the cherry. Grab the white one and then we will attach them together. So we will tie it, just tie a knot. And that's it. Then we will attach it to our ice cream. We will insert our 260 cubes. So we have this and we have this, two sided cake. And then attach now to the top of our pink balloon. We will now add our 260Q white from between our pink balloon and the white toppings. This is the final result of our project guys. Hope you like this video and you learned something from this tutorial. Thank you for joining me. This is Mitch. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated on my next video. Thank you. Bye.